leaders and there will be many of them leaders there will be many of those leaders qalu they say wama ta'muruna what do you advise us ya rasul allah qala the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he say fu fu bi bay'ati al awwal fal awwal he say fu from al wafa fu from al wafa tayyib fu from al wafa he say hafizahu allah the prophet he say she rabi hafizahu allah mentioning the statement of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he say fu bi bay'ati al awwal fal awwal he say fulfill obey right obey the one that you give the bay'a first he say wa a'tuhum haqqahum and give them their rights and give them their rights give them their rights fa inna allah fa indeed allah sa'iluhum amma istar'ahum for indeed allah will ask them of the responsibility of that which he has placed on their shoulders he will ask them of that wish that they had authority on them he say kayfa inna allah sa'iluhum amma istar'ahum he say how is it that allah will ask them about what they were in charge of he say ma qala shuf the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not say hasibuhum put them into check put them into accountability put them into check, be the check and balance he didn't say that he didn't say you must have a check and balance for the leaders you you must be the check and balance for the leaders he didn't say that he say ma qala ha he didn't say that he didn't say neither rebel against against them ukhruju revolt against them khudhu haqqakum the messenger did not say take your rights he didn't say none of these barakallahu feekum he said that as today those from the kibar of the thuriyin yaquluna they say we will not be waiting for the ease or the success to be falling from the sky we will not be waiting ma nantadhir we will not be waiting that the ease or the success or the way out yatina min as-sama to be coming to be fallen from the sky we will not wait for the rectification for the ease and for the success to be coming to be falling of the sky la budda an na'khudh haqqana bi aydina and this is what they say we must take we must take our rights with our own hands The, the those who up, those who uprise revolt the rebels those who the opposition from the government all of those barak in any of those form now whether these are those who are taking the back seat or those who all they do barak allah fikum is talk or those who barak allah fikum they are out there campaigning for it right For instance those who barakallahu fikum right they deported for instance right they deported them akhi how you gonna revolt allahu akbar when was it a crime when was it a crime that you go back to your country to a muslim country when is it a crime that you going back to where a place you can hear the adhan no matter where you at when is it a crime that a person being akhi being aided for something that is wajib on alayka akhi you were aided for something that is wajib on alayka right which is al hijra min bilad al kuffar ila bilad al muslimin to save god our religion you were aided for that now you going back to your country and you are protesting against the government those are the thuriyun barakallahu fikum When is it a crime? When was it a crime barakallahu fikum to go back to your country? When is it a crime to go back to the muslim land? Ajibu, when is it a crime to go back to the muslim land? When is it a crime to establish something that is a worship? And Sheikh Salih Al-Fawzan hafizahullah he mentioned this very clearly. For not barakallahu fikum none of us to be very comfortable in the lens of the disbelievers 
And don't let the shaitan pull excuses after excuses in your mind. Oh, I got this, I got that. Akhi, what is wajibun alayka barakallah fikum is al-hijrah. Now you're going to do it today, prepare for it. Al-isti'dad, prepare for it, barakallah fikum. Now some people, when you talk about the hijrah, uh, the uh, obligation of it, they are they upset. As if, barakallah fikum, the rizq is only attached to America or to Europe. As the risk is only attached to a place. So Allah, he does not give risk in other t- areas. Wallahi, from the manhaj of the salaf, is that we hold that the hijrah is shay'un wajibun alayna. It is an obligation upon us Muslims. Akhi, how many times people are losing their children? How many times Muslims, I'm talking about Muslims losing their children. How many times young woman, Muslim from a Muslim house, you pass them on the street, you would not know whether or not they are Muslims. How many times you hear our children making saying statements that you know that they didn't get it from your house. You know that they get it from the masjid. Where they get it from? From the streets with the kuffar. Now by 2020, guess what? By 2020, Guess what? Majority of the states in America, they will legalize marijuana. Majority of the state will legalize barakallah fikum. What? Smoking weed. Ain't nothing you can say to your son or to your daughter when he come home. Ha! No, this is this is al waqi ayyuhal ikhwa. This is al haqqu al haqq al haqq al yuqal. The truth is more dutiful to be said. Now we all about it in the back of our mind start getting ready. And this is the ibadah, ayyuhal ikhwa. That's the ibadah. So some people, and he asked, he put me out of track. The, those individuals that go, barakallah fikum, protesting against that government or that government in their own land, they, this is a matter of protest. And this is haram. Akhi, how are you going to protest? Because you will return to your country, a Muslim country. You got the opportunity to now to pray your salawat in the masjid. You are nowhere to be found in the masjid. Praying five times a day. Now you have been given the opportunity. Barakallah fikum. It's not even important. It doesn't matter who it is. It is, it is a responsibility of every Muslim. Male or female. Male or female. So the men, everybody, it's, it's, it's an obligation that is not restricted to the man and left out the woman. But rather it is an obligation upon the Muslim male, male and female, the Muslim. Right? The messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa what did he say? He said that the hijrah will not cease until the, the tawbah stop. Hijrah will not stop until tawbah stop. And tawbah will not stop until that the sun rise from the, from the west. It's clear, barakallah fikum. Now this is something that, alhamdulillah, all of us, not to be feeling so comfortable, barakallah fikum, in the lands of the disbelievers. How many people lost their children, akhi, barakallah fikum? How many people lost their children, barakallah fikum? Some renounced Islam. Some took, barakallah fikum, the way of the kuffar. And what can you do? Nothing. What can you do? What can you do? And they will tell you, listen, man, I'm American. If you got to go, you go. I ain't going nowhere. And this is why, alhamdulillah, there is a lot of work to be done on our children. There's a lot of work to be done on our children. But it starts with our own selves first. Our own selves first. Our own selves first, barakallah. May Allah protect our children. Ameen. Ala ayin. This was a side. But this individual, Akhi, on the streets, protesting. Why? Because they were returned, deported to their own, to your own home. You, dip, you are protesting because they brought you back home. What's the problem? Oh, they returned me home. Is it a, is it a crime? And inshallah, we will read. And we're talking about the atta'a waliyul amr. 
we will read inshallah ta'ala the same Shaykh Saleh for the in in Ajubatul Mufid fi as'ilatil manahij al jadid an important book and i advise the brother to read that book in it the question was asked about how about the leader is a kafir how about if the leader is a kafir akhi the person that is the president today he has rights this is his rights of to do whatever he see fit as far as the security of his country kariha man kariha radiya man radiya he has the right to do whatever he see fit what the complain about oh we protesting why what's the problem somebody took your money no they return us back to our own country allahul musta'an So here the Sheikh Hafizahullah Tabarak wa Ta'ala he mentioned he mentioned Hafizahullah the statement of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he mentioned that the Banu Israil they used to be under prophets under prophets meaning they were the the leaders he say at any time that one die khalafahu nabi that another prophet will replace him another prophet will replace him and he say wa innahu la nabiyya ba'di and as for me there is no prophet after me there is no prophet after me but there will be many leaders be many leaders he mentioned qalu the sahaba they say what is it that you advise us the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that obey the one that you gave the bay'ah first and give them their rights for indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them about their responsibilities he said that uh, the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not say that that put them into test or into check ma'dhira put them into check and he verify the, the issues that or rebel against them ukhruju revolt and go out and prostrate on protest khudhu haqqakum take your rights he said Lee, because some of the people from the elites or from the heads of the rebels from the kibar today that they will say we will not be waiting for the ease or for the success or the, uh, for the salvation to be coming from the sky it is a must that we take our salvation our rights with our own hands the shaykh hafizahullah tabarak wa ta'ala he went to say he said this is what they say ayyuhal jamahir خذوا حقكم بأيديكم all you people all you masses all you folk take your rights with your own hands and they will say that indeed there will be no one that will bring your bring you your rights to your to you nobody will bring you your rights in other words get up and fight for your rights get up and fight for your rights and we mention also the hadith that the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in regard to sa'd he mentioned that wallahi the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said wallahi by allah i have more jealousy than sa'd and by allah meaning in allah aghyaru minni and allah has more jealousy than me lamma qala sa'd when sa'd radiyallahu anhu he say ara'ayta idha wajadtu rajulan ma'a zawjati he say how about if i will find a man with my wife he say do i bring about four witnesses he say wallahi by allah i will not do so but rather la adribannahu i will strike him with saif i will strike him with the saif meaning without the the flat side right i will strike him with the saif he say ghayri musfihin without the flat side right meaning i will strike him with the what with the sharp blade side not the flat side right but rather with the blade itself meaning i will just cut him up i will cut him up i will not be waiting for no four four witnesses if i find a man with my wife So the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he say atajabina min ghirati sa'd do you are, are you all amazed about the jealousy of sa'd 
He say, Allah, by Allah, I'm, I have more jealousy than sad. And Allah has more jealousy than me. And this is the reason why Allah.